Ian can rake a lawn and bag the leaves in five hours. Keandre can rake the same lawn and bag the leaves in three hours. Working together, how long would it take them to rake the lawn and bag the leaves? So let's think about it a little bit. It says Ian can rake a lawn and bag the leaves in five hours. So for Ian, I for Ian, he can for one lawn, one lawn, he can do one lawn in one lawn in five hours. One lawn in five hours. We could have also written this as five hours per lawn, but we'll see that writing it this way is more useful because it's actually a rate. Because this is the same thing as one over five lawns, lawns per hour, or one fifth of a lawn per hour. That's the rate at which Ian can rake a lawn at one fifth of a lawn per hour. Now let's do the same thing for Keandre. Keandre, and this actually probably shouldn't be plural, one fifth of lawns, one fifth of a lawn. So let me just erase that S right there. One fifth of a lawn per hour. Now let's do the same thing for Keandre. Keandre can rake the same lawn and bag the leaves in three hours. So for Keandre, Keandre can, for one lawn, I'll assume it's a boy's name, he can do it in three hours. In three hours. Or if we were to write it as a rate, this is one third, one third of a lawn, one third of a lawn per hour. Now let's think about what the combined rate is. So let's say if we have Ian plus Keandre. Ian plus Keandre. What's going to be their combined what's going to be their combined rate? Well they tell us they tell us that working together, how long would it take them to rake and bag the leaves? So let's let let's let t be how long it will take them together. How long it will take together. So that's how long they would take together. And if we say t is how long they take together, then we could say that combined they will do one lawn. They will do one lawn in every t hours, if we're assuming t is in hours, for every t hours. Or as a rate, their combined rate is going to be 1 over t, 1 teeth of a lawn, 1 teeth of a lawn per hour. 1 over t lawns per hour. So that's their combined rate. So here we have the rate of Ian and the rate of Keandra, Keandre and the combined rate. So the combined rate is just going to be the sum of each of their rates. If he can do one fifth of a lawn per hour and he can do one third of a lawn per hour, their combined rate is going to be one fifth of a lawn per hour plus one third of an hour. Because in an hour he'll do one fifth and he'll do one third. So you'll add those two together to figure out how much they can do in an hour. So their combined rate is going to be one fifth lawn per hour. And I won't write the units here just because it gets redundant. One fifth lawn per hour I could write over here plus one third lawn per hour for Keandre, plus one third of a lawn per hour for Keandre, that's going to be their total rate, which is one over t lawns per hour. Which is one over t lawns per hour. And now we just have to solve for t, and we'll know the total number of hours it will take them. So let's do that. So to do that, we just have to add one fifth plus one third. Well, we can have a common denominator of 15. So this is the same thing as 3 over 15 plus 5 over 15, plus 5 over 15 is going to be equal to 1 over t. 1 over t. And then we have a common denominator now, so 3 plus 5 is 8. So this is going to be 8 over 15. I'll go over here now. So now we have 3 plus 5 is 8 over 15 is equal to 1 over t. 1 over t. If we want to solve for t, we could take the reciprocal of both sides. So if we flip the left side, we get 8 over we get 15 over 8, 15 over 8, and if we flip the right side, we get t over 1 or just t. So it'll take them 15 over 8 hours. Or if we want that in kind of a way that we can think about it a little bit better, 15 over 8. So t is equal to 15 over 8 hours. 15 over 8, and I should say 15 over 8 hours per lawn. This whole time here, we had lawns per hour. This was lawns per hour. This was lawn per hour. And this was here as well, lawns per hour. When we flip it, it, become hours, it becomes hours per lawn. So that's exactly what we want. But 15 over 8 is the same thing as 1 and 7 eighths hours. And 7 eighths of an hour, we can get our calculator out. Get our calculator out. If we have 60 minutes in an hour, 
times 7 eighths, we get 52.5 minutes. So this is equal to our answer. Combined, it will take them 1 hour, 1 hour and 52.5 minutes, 52.5 minutes per lawn, or to do this lawn right over here, the lawn in question. Hopefully you found that useful.